Hello my friends, yes, it's me again. So today I want to take a glimpse into the mind of foreign women, women from different parts of the world. I think it's very important for gentlemen to understand women from other parts of the world. One of the most popular places right now for passport bros to explore is the Philippines. But I don't think a lot of foreigners have a real glimpse into the mind of most Filipino women. So I'm going to start a new series where I can talk to women from other parts of the world so that you gentlemen can get a good idea of how these women think. It's hard to find content where women are being very candid, very relaxed, very open, you know. So the closest I came is these three Filipino ladies sitting, having a conversation, sort of critiquing videos that criticize them for being one of the major choices from men in the Western Hemisphere. And you guys have to see how well these women have a very keen insight into the Western woman's mind. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Um, no. No? We don't need short men. Do you need a man? No. Do you need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? No. Why? No. Do we need men? No. No? Do we need men? We need men to make us stupid. Do we need men? Do we need men? Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? No. Why? Because we can be strong independent women. Do we need men? Like, not necessarily, but like, if I can look at them. Like, we need a man to look at. Do we need men? No. no why? Nobody needs men! Really? We do not need men! Why not? Why don't we need men? We need men. Why, why would I need men? So what, do, what, what can you get from someone else that you don't get from a man? The only thing I can get from a man that I can't get anywhere else, anywhere else is dick. Okay. And I don't need dick. Do we need women? Yes. We do. Why? These women are awesome. Do we need women? Of course. Why? Because they're beautiful. Do we need women? Women make us feel compassionate and affectionate. Do we need women? Of course we do. Do we need women? Yes. Why? Because they're hot. And what else? They're hot. Do we need women? I mean, shit. Unless they're gay. Do we need women? And find it bizarre that they think that way. But you will also see something very different. How they think about men most importantly, and how they think about life and how gentle and how feminine they are. And listen, these aren't wealthy women. You can see that these are just humble, relaxed, average women. Because in every society, listen, you got the extreme rich, you got the upper middle class, you got the average person, then you got below average, and then you got downright poverty stricken. But if you got to be smart, you got to realize that the majority of people are average. Large 70, 80% of people are just average people, just trying to make it every day. They don't have an excessive amount of money for disposable income. They can't buy hype ticket items. They're just average people just getting by. I'm only assuming, but I think it's an educated guess that these are average everyday Filipino ladies. So gentlemen, let's join these ladies conversation. All right. But before we do that, please make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And get me over on Instagram if you want to ask me a quick question. Send me a voice message. And also, if you need to book a session with me to have a conversation, mentoring, etc. Get me over on askanolderman.com. Let's get into today's video. So these are the ladies. We've joined them in this conversation. So let's enter into the middle of their conversation. Right now, they're talking about the amount of money Western women demand for engagement rings. Let's get into it. The country. Yeah, but we should not, uh, like, you know, generalize um, the Western women. Mm, because, not all. So this yes. is the example. Even yeah. this one understand, right? I yeah. think there are many Western women who are not like this. The thing is that those the bad women speak the loudest mm. and they get so much attention in mm. social yeah. media yeah. because the good women they're hard working they don't have time for social media mm. um, they're, they're busy working and all these women you know running their mouth online they're mm. just I believe the minority. They're just busy getting their nails done yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know their hair whatever eyelashes 
See, these women are switched on. So for all you American women who think that these women aren't switched on around the world, these women are very, very switched on when it comes to life itself. These girls know that a lot of the belligerent, ratchet type women that are on social media making everybody else look bad, especially in the black community, they're not normal. Even though they're plentiful, there are good women out there as well who don't do that shit. My wife don't do it, for example. And I know my sisters don't do it. And they're all black women. So these women understand that not all women are like that. And I, si and I, I know I sound like a woman when I say not all women. But the point is, in the West, there's too many that are doing it. There are Filipinas that are very demanding as well. And... Um, they equate everything with price, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, not all Filipinas are. Not all. Yes. You just have to take your time to find the yeah. right Filipina. Yeah, so I, I think, uh, you know, uh, women like this, um, they exist all over the world, mm -hmm. right? So it's just really a matter of finding the right ones. Wait, so let's move into the Here next Here are some things I expect men to do in marriage. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if you have a home, like the property tax. So what they're doing here is they're critiquing Western women and their outrageous demands on men. And you will see the difference between how these women think and how other women think over there. And the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks. Number three, the dishes. Um, I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because I don't like to do the dishes. Number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, I don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash. I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up, iron what needs to be ironed, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it. Like if there's like a broken pipe or something, like he doesn't have to fix it, but he does have to be responsible and calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed. So it's just his responsibility. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made, um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. Um, number eight is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. So if we're going kayaking, if we're deciding to take a camping trip, if we're deciding to go to a theme park, just at least two dates and or recreational activities per month and number nine an annual honeymoon um i do want to be one of those couples mm -hmm. that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location i think that's super cute so definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation um so that's two big trips per year so a honeymoon and a separate family vacation and yes i expect for him to pay for it for a mate, not for a man. <laughs> it's really painful to watch that. I don't know if she was joking or not, but um, I'm quite conflicted whether, I mean, I'm, uh, I don't know if she's looking for some, for a helper or a husband. Because, yes. I mean, how in the hell can he do everything on the list and provide her with everything that she needs. What's she gonna do? If, yeah, if that's the case, she'll mm -hmm. try to be pretty. What's she gonna... <laughs> Is there any chance to... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know, but... No. <laughs> These are crazy demands, man. Maybe that's it's... ridiculous. I mean, she have actually the list. What's she gonna do in a relationship? Maybe she was like... Well, Open her it. legs, that's it? <laughs> and she said... Um, <laughs> She wants somebody who can also cook because she does not like cooking and taking the trash out. I mean, you see, it's even worse when black women 
put out these sort of videos. Because not only do it, does it make them look ridiculous to their own people, but that is the brand, that is the mindset that is projected overseas. This is a problem. We don't understand that every single time we as a culture, as a, as a, as a race, as a, as a people open our mouth, we are representing our brothers. We are our brother's keeper. I've said this in many videos before. We almost become a laughing stock when we do dumb shit like this. So we have other people in other countries laughing at our stupidity. And it's really disgusting to see, man, you know? Uh, let's let's listen. Ridiculous. I mean, she has actually the list. What's she gonna do in a relationship? Maybe she was like, well, open her it. legs. That's it. <laughs> and she said, um, she wants somebody who can also cook because she does not like cooking and taking the trash out. I mean, um, okay. That's a that's not really like a big, you know, big work to do because well, will you just chill all day and. She needs her mommy. <laughs> yes. if, if that's the case, she needs a maid or she needs a housekeeper that he will, she will pay. You know, not. It's really sad. Be, it's really sad because it seems like the on, she only wanted a guy to do stuff for her, and she doesn't even men. Oh, because that's her video is all about what she expect a man to do in a relationship. I would be interested to see what these women can offer on the table mm -hmm. um, because what we have just watched all of them are um, you know getting their I mean letting us know what their demands are mm. but they're not letting us know what they can oh. um, give their their men in exchange yeah. right? a, so I would really be interested to actually hear what they can offer that's a good yes. point because I never seen a video that they actually uh, make a video what can they offer for their men what can what should they do for their partners and it is rare and listen i haven't seen many either in the second a woman makes one she becomes a pick me pick misha there's all of these derogatory terms for women who actually put themselves out there and say hey this is what i'm prepared to do for my man this is what i do for the man the tradwives get pissed on constantly. It just blows my mind how Western woman's selfish culture and selfish way of thinking has become normalized and accepted as the narrative. And anything that contradicts that gets shouted down by other women because it's going against the patriarchy. Uh, you know, my favorite psychologist here says it best. Listen to him here. And a lot of modern women are in this trap where some of the behavior that might work to get them the kind of relationship they want from the men they want to have that relationship with is frowned upon by their fellow woman. It's basically the equivalent of simping in men. And the equivalent of simping in men for women is anything that has to do with, let's say, traditional reactionary feminine behavior. That I am going to be submissive for a man. That I am going to wait for him. That's how it used to be. The idea that I'm going to serve a man or make his life easier or do any kind of domestic help, all of these things would be seen as almost a betrayal of her gender at this point. And so even though those behaviors might instrumentally help her get the kind of relationship she wants with the man she wants to have that relationship with, it would come at the cost of, let's say, the respect of the women that she's competing against in her own intersexual status games. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's continue with the Filipinas. Never seen a video. To be impressed. Mm -hmm. A single mm -hmm. video, no. Yeah. And also, these women, she will end up alone. Yes. I mean, who can do all those things? That's too much. And uh, what, what is she going to do when she get old? Yes. Yeah. Because no one will take care of her anymore. Because everything disappears. <laughs> and even if she go rich, like if she's rich, what's she gonna do with her money, right? You have Save no family, it. you don't have kids, no you're gonna be lonely. It will just go, go, go. If you'll keep spending, spending, spending money, you'll you'll turn back to zero and be yeah. you're pretty now, but sooner or later you'll be ugly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you'll That's be reality. Ugly. That's reality, you know. Yeah, I you see, these women understand femininity. These women are red pill Filipinas women. 
But they don't call it red pill, just like I don't call what I'm doing red pill. This is freaking normal common sense. This is human nature. But they understand it because they were not subjected to the crap that the West has been fed. So they understand life. They understand how and what women go through in the real world, not in the fantasy world. This, my friends, is reality. These women understand reality. Assuming I'm the man, I would ask her what can she bring on the table? Because if she says something like, I can cook, I can clean, I can um, do whatever in the house, I would say there's really nothing special about you because not everybody might be a perfect cook, but everybody can cook, everybody can clean, um, everybody can do whatever in the house. So you're really not offering anything on the table. So you have to be, I mean, you definitely have to be. You see, and that is so true. I teach my 14 year old how to cook and clean. Not because I of some great design, the point is, is that every single adult human being has to understand how to take care of themselves. The only people in the old days, days gone by, and I'm talking Victorian days, where people could then employ helpers, cooks, and chefs, and, and maids. That is only the time when women were never taught these things. The 99% of people never had the ability to, to hire maids and cooks. So every normal person had to learn how to cook and clean. Every modern woman these days are proud to say that I can cook and clean. That should be a no-brainer. That's like saying, yeah, I know how to wipe my ass. You should know how to cook and clean, period. And it's not a flex if you say, oh, I can't cook and clean. It shows that you're just a lazy human being. And I love how these women point it out because they know they can see through the BS. What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring for you? 20000 That's the lowest. What's the most? 100000 That would be a lot. Those are reasonable prices. Reasonable. 10000 is the least? Okay, five. What if I said you guys are worth ring pops? No. I don't believe you. Somebody who has probably like a superhuman power. He is <laughs> super skilled for him yeah. to be able to um, give, give you that 200k ring. Like it's ridiculous for me. It seems like she wants a good ring, not a good man. But you know, we, what about you? But the price, I mean. Okay, so now they're talking about women who want this exceptional ring in the West. Oh, how much your engagement ring got to cost? Oh, three months salary. Oh, shit. The guy makes 5000 a month. You want an engagement ring that costs 15000 Whoo, no. A lot of people don't realize that this, this idea of a three-month salary came from the freaking diamond companies. They invented that commercial, and that was played into people's head. It shows you how easy women are to be manipulated. That was done by the diamond companies who wanted to sell more diamonds. So they came up with an advertising campaign that literally pushed, insinuated that a man should spend at least three months salary on your engagement ring because it's the most important ring you'll ever have in your life. It's going to be lasting a lifetime. And like a diamond is forever. Where do you think that expression came from? Advertising companies, diamond companies. He should show his love. And three months is nothing unusual. So, gentlemen, stop doing this shit about a uh, three-month salary. Cubic zirconia, is that what you call it? The fake diamond? Throw in one of those. If she wants to look good, no one can tell the difference these days. What's the difference between a lab-grown diamond and a natural diamond? Uh, only two differences, the price and the origin. That's it. Chemically, okay. physically, visually, they're identical. They're graded by the same certification houses of so the GIA that grade natural diamonds for Cartier, Bulgari, Harry Winston, De Beers, you name it. 
um, the GIA also grade uh, lab grown diamonds. And, uh, you know, visually, when you look at it, like as an expert, or maybe say, let's say you were a gemologist and you looked at it, would you be able to tell the difference? That's impossible. The analogy I give is like you're looking at two kids, same age, five years old, one's an IVF baby, one's a natural baby. And if you looked at them, you wouldn't be able to say, right, that's the IVF child. It's the same thing. Um, and the only difference in any diamond between lab and natural is the way it's cut. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that, that's it. But chemically, physically, visually, they're identical. All right. Spend very little on an engagement ring. Very, very little. Because she's going to take you to the cleaners as she leaves anyway. It's going to be a lot more than that ring costs. I can tell you that, that she's going to get from you. So you might as well give her a nice inexpensive ring. Beautiful, but nice. I think my wife's, I, I can't remember how much it costs, but I can tell you it wasn't 15, wasn't 10. Hell no. And I got a really good deal. I beat the crap. I negotiated hard for that ring. <laughs> I negotiated hard. I beat that man down in that jeweler store so bad, man. I walked away many times. I got the call back. I said, I handed in my business card and said, give me a call if you change your mind. That's how hard I went. And I waited three weeks before that sucker called me back. <laughs> so you guys got to understand, man. I don't play when it comes to money. Don't play games with this, your money, man. Don't let a woman sucker you into three months salary. Let's continue with the ladies. Let's hear what they have to say. Very like okay, so let me ask you guys how much the reasonable price a ring would you you okay with it? Like how much? Me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so to be honest, because I don't want to, in this video, we want something, an honest question. I got the first engagement ring from John. Mm. Believe me or not, but I have to be honest, it's mm. it's just like 400 Four hundred fifty-nine pesos. I guess. Are you happy with it? Yes, because I'm not. I'm not that kind of person that is like, I want something fancy ring that is very expensive or whatever. Mm. My ring is not even like a thousand pesos or not. Mm. How much is four hundred in in dollar? Like um, eight eight dollars. Like eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. There we go. Passport, bro, John. I love you, man. <laughs> You're doing it, John. Eight dollar engagement ring. Eight dollars. She appreciates it. That's what I keep telling you, gentlemen. The demands that Western women put on men. Ladies, you got to understand. Men can get a woman like this. In the Philippines, your $50 equals 2,500 pesos. My roommate's a Filipina. She's going to show me how to spend She it. took me to BGC to eat at a Michelin star restaurant. I've never ate at one before, and I didn't believe her at first, but this is Hawker Chan, and yes, it is a Michelin star restaurant for only 168 pesos, which is like $3. Not cap, guys. Look it up. Taxis are super cheap, but a more fun option are these electric scooters that are like 54 cents for 10 minutes. Next, we went to a designer glasses store where I claimed to be the model used for the giant statue in order to get a discount shockingly it didn't work so we moved on arcades in the philippines are really fun and affordable true filipino fashion we do some karaoke which only costs about 30 cents a song you get your own booth and headphones jules addicted to this game she finally collected all the avengers and got 3,000 tickets so we went on a shopping spree in the arcade we ended up getting a ton of stuff and throughout the whole day i only spent this much if you're curious about digital nomading you better follow me i got good she beautiful adorable agreeable fit None of these women are fat. None. Fit, friendly, feminine, agreeable, childless, who appreciate men, who were bred from childbirth to respect men, who were bred to understand that men are very important for her well-being and life. That's our engagement ring. Yes. Imagine, imagine. So we bought it together when uh, John came over here. We decided to get that ring. But um, I was not looking for something expensive because mm. I was thinking about the other girls like I want because it's very memorable. I mean, it's okay. It depends on the couple, especially the woman, if she likes this, she likes that. But maybe Jen is just so lucky for me that I don't act that um, I, I want something like a very expensive, expensive one. Ring. Just a very mm. simple one that yeah. really um, shows that I'm engaged or something. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very happy and content in a very small um things already i am very uh, that's why i was shocked with the price yeah um like you said earlier some women uh would want to have 
a very expensive ring because yes. they want something memorable. Yes. But I would say that um, uh, something memorable does not have to come with a price. Yes. Like you can buy me a $2 ring. The memory of that is you proposing to me. I mean, I mean the value of that $2 ring, yes, it is a, just a $2, but it is very expensive for me because you got on your knees and you yes. asked me to be your wife and yeah it's that's how i look for me know. it's not yes. a price it's not a price it's like it's a genuine way, yeah. if you're really serious about you know be you know you want to propose because you're genuine that's more important than you know ring is you know if you lost it you know it's gonna be like especially for me i'm like I'm not really uh, used to wearing um, jewelry, so mm, if you yes. buy me a 200k dollar ring, chances are, because I'm so careless with jewelry, mm, mm. Same. chances are I'm just gonna lose it anyway. Mm, yeah. So that, you yeah. can impress us. You know why? Because these are women who work. They're constantly washing, they're constantly chopping, moving, they're constantly using their hands because they're useful women, not useless. These are useful women. And there's nothing worse than having a ring on that interferes with the life that you're living. It's one of the main reasons I don't wear any rings whatsoever. I, I've been married for almost 19 years. I wore my ring maybe four days and I just, it just got in the way. Just, it built up stuff underneath. I get that white ring, it felt horrible and my, when I'm lifting weights, it scrapes against the bar. It gets disgustingly ruined. I lift a lot in the gym. It was always hooking against the bar. I just said, shit, no. So I just took it off. My wife, perfectly okay with it. Because she knows that a man becomes even more attractive to other women when he has another woman. But that's a whole other story. But you know exactly what I'm talking about, gentlemen. You become more attractive when another woman finds you attractive. This, my friends, is what Western women think should be attractive to a man. I'm smart, I'm successful, and I'm a homeowner. I went from retiree to being a business owner. I have good credit and decent looks. I have no baggage, no emotional damage, and no arrest record. I spent a lot of time working on myself, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Baby, I built my own damn table and I know it's solid. So my question to you is, what can you bring to my table? That's a man. I don't give a shit what you guys say. That's a man. Okay? That's it. End of story. Give me a soft Filipina over that any day. That I wouldn't put up with. Hell no. You let me know what you think. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we'll all become ugly one day. All of these videos we uh, watch today, I can see that all of these women, I don't know how old they are, mm. um, they're all immature because they put a price into everything, right? Mm. And you have seen the demands. It's like out of this world demands. Like, yeah. Anyway, it's really crazy for us Filipina to hear this kind of, you know, yes. women demands this in this standards we, in a relationship. It's not in our head. Yeah. To think about that way. Yes. We are looking a good man, not a good serious, ring, man. not a good yes. cook, not a good not a 200k <laughs> ring. No, no, definitely <laughs> not. We are looking like a good man that is so genuine. We'll stay with you. Mm. Yeah, yes. if you are going to give us a $200 ring, of course we're not going to like refuse that. Mm. But we're not putting a price of how much you should bias i mean how mm. much you should give how now i don't know how to articulate it <laughs> we are not putting a price on how much uh, on the value of the ring that you should give to us mm. yeah you <laughs> yeah. got it okay so i i guess that's it for today anything you want to say guys please support your channel as well yeah can you tell them what about your channel guys let's you start okay. with so uh, for those who haven't su subscribed yet to my channel, it's just saw in the Philippines. Yes, and if you are not familiar with uh, my channel, it's called uh, Life with Shay. So basically, the channel talks about anything about life. 
And you can check our channel uh, and see if you like any of those videos and subscribe. 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 Yes. <laughs> Thank you, girl, so much Thank for your time today. Thank you. I really enjoy our dog show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us till the end, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. I wanted to keep the titles up. I wanted to make sure that you guys can go and actually look and see more videos from these beautiful ladies. But gentlemen, you see what I'm talking about. The gentleness of these women, the femininity of these women is what makes them very attractive to Western men. Thanks so much for watching this little segment. Listen, gentlemen, all I want to show you is that you have other options. You have other options if you cannot find what you want in the Western Hemisphere. And hopefully I can bring you a diverse group of women. You can actually go and enjoy life, have a peaceful life with other women around the world. Just give me a thumbs up on this video going out. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on the notification button and book a session if you would like to talk to me directly. All right. So until next time, remember, Whenever in doubt, always ask an older man. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.